Welcome back to Houston Life. It is the eighth annual Black Restaurant Week, and we are celebrating the flavors of African American, African, and Caribbean cuisine. Yum. Plus, you can also support black owned restaurants, food trucks, and catering services. Working together with Feed the Soul Foundation, they are dedicated to helping culinary businesses thrive in marginalized communities. And here to tell us more is Fallon Farrell, managing partner of Black Restaurant Week and chairwoman of Feed the Soul Foundation. And also, I just found out we're alumni of West. <laughs> Very high yes, school. Go Rebels, right? Or now it's like now Huskies. it's a Husky, right? Yes. <laughs> I love that Houstonians can be a part of this now celebrating its eighth year. Yes, yes. Uh, it's just a blessing and the Houston food space has really blown up. Uh, our first year we had 20 restaurants. Now we're over 130. Wow. So it just shows the growth and the boom that is happening in the small business scene. And that's really amazing when we're coming off of COVID. So, you know, we're super excited. You said it. Houston's food scene is unmatched. How did this week begin? Because a lot of people have heard of Houston restaurant weeks, which is a different event. Right. Uh, what was the genesis back in 2016? Really? So uh, we just wanted to create something a little more all inclusive. A lot of businesses in the minority communities aren't really your two course, three course, wait staff kind of establishment. Um, we wanted something that was inclusive for the soul food restaurants, the barbecue restaurants, the food trucks, the, the bakeries. And so that's really why Black Restaurant Week was created. How do we bring a spotlight to what they're doing and just show the amazing diversity going on in the food scene. And this is so great because you mentioned it is the eighth year. Derek asked if you guys took a break during COVID and you said, no, we actually <laughs> got bigger during COVID. Right. So we actually start Black Restaurant Week campaigns in February and we don't end till November. So we're all over the nation. Every year we're in a different part of the country showcasing what's going on in the food scene. Um, and so now we've showcased over 1,600 businesses all the way up to Toronto. So it's, it's really amazing just to watch how everything expanded. I'm glad you brought up COVID because that was a time when our friends and family in the restaurant business, they were really hurting. And it was a time when y'all have always been there for us. And one of the ways you are giving back with the restaurant week is through the foundation. So feed the soul foundation and essentially marginalized business owners could use a hand, right? In many cases, talk about this foundation because there's a lot of training and support that comes along with it. Right. So we actually start the foundation um, really after the joy George Floyd protests, a lot of the money was pouring into the community, and we really want to step up and figure out a way to give back. Uh, so we provide uh, grants to restaurants, $10,000 of grants, as well as uh, six months of business development, um, really being that step, lock, and key so that they're not in it alone. It's a very lonely road in entrepreneurship. Oh, yeah. And we just want to provide that support. Um, so we do everything from finance to marketing to menu development, all the little things that really help their business grow. So Fallon, I know it's Black Restaurant Week, but it's definitely longer than just one week. Give us some details about the event. Right, so it's two weeks, uh, April 2nd through the 16th. Um, you can visit our website. We have over 130 restaurants. We have all their specials. We have some great culinary events coming up, including a community dinner, uh, with Chef Toon and Chef Reginald Scott at Finn Hall. Uh, we have a date night, <laughs> right, uh, with Trez Wine Bar. So they're going to have a sommelier there. Uh, we also have brunch and bingo. So we're really trying to have fun. I mean, food is fun. It's a great way to unite the community. We love to eat in Texas. <laughs> yeah, we do. So we just want everyone to uh, check it out. Brunch and bingo, sign yes. me up for that one. Did yes. you say 120 participating restaurants? Over 130. So. Oh. That is incredible. People, map out your itinerary. Right, for April 2nd through the 16th because you can have such a treat tasting yeah. all these different cuisines. Okay, Fallon Farrell, great Thank to see you. you. Thank you Thanks so much. Me. Congrats on the growth of this event. And when we come back, one of the restaurants participating in Black Restaurant Week, Craig from Houston, This Is It Soul Food, is in our kitchen to show us how to make your famous oxtails at home. Okay, and we'll find out why this dish has been on their menu for over 60 years. Houston Life will be right back. We're hungry. Thank you.